be you are a sister and then you want you have your spec but it's not your spec that is calling you i be you are a brother your spec does not look like somebody that is looking at your side it is one sister that you are like no she's not in my level just looking at your side this part this segment i'm about to start now is for you because i am going to be talking about Happy new month and welcome to my channel. Welcome to the month of love. <laughs> so, as I announced last week, I said starting from this month, this channel is going to be taking a new shape, a new form. And yeah, it is. So our first um segment of the program we're going to be starting. Is going to be starting today <laughs> isn't that interesting and as I, I have announced wait 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 <laughs> I've not done proper introduction <laughs> I'm not even cutting this part out so that you will know the struggle of a youtuber hello and welcome to my channel my name is Ami Adekunle. If you are seeing my face for the very first time, I am a YouTuber from Moyo State, Nigeria, Ibadan, to be precise, and I film about mental health, lifestyle, and events. So, if you are here to subscribe, plugs, press the subscription button now, because we are not here to joke. We are giving interesting, entertaining, and educative content back to back to back to back and if you are a returning subscriber i want to say thank you very much for always tuning in thank you so much i love you kisses and okay for those of you that you used to come here and just watch video and run away without subscribing god is watching you better do the subscription today before it's too late <laughs> And everybody, please don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you'll be, be the first to be notified anytime I drop all our interesting videos. So, now to business. The first thing, like I announced earlier, this month is the month of love. So, even on Sundays, we'll be bringing yourself love content because, no, February is basketballs for love. <laughs> And then on Fridays, we'll be bringing content on fashion, on love. And then today, let me just give you a glimpse of what we're going to be doing today. Today, our second segment, we're going to be bringing in a ring expert. She sells ring. And then, in fact, I don't even try to skip this part. Watch this part too. So, let's dive in into why we are here. So, you have been thinking this life, hey, maybe something is wrong with you, that the person you want is not the person that is calling you, like, okay, probably you are a sister, and then you want, you have your spec, but it's not your spec that is calling you, I be you are a brother. Your spec does not look like somebody that is looking at your side. It is one sister that you are like, no, she's not in my level. That is looking at your side. This part, this segment I'm about to start now is for you. Because I am going to be talking about one main thing that can make you not be attracted to yourself. I mean, not to be attracted to your uh, crush. How do I put it now? Okay. Let me explain properly. Say you are somebody that you you like. You like somebody that dresses nice. Because today we'll be talking about dressing. You like somebody that dresses nice and everything. But each time somebody approaches you, probably a guy approach you as a lady, it's always like he does not have the kind of dress sense you want him to have and those that have that those kind of dress sense they are not even looking at your side 
or you are a brother you are approaching sister that you like her dress sense or something but then she's telling you that sorry let me go and pray about it or let me go and do something and then you are wondering why it is now somebody you don't really like her dress sense that is giving you all the attention and then she's showing you signal that she likes you one of the reasons might be because of the way you are dressing so let us talk about dressing today how do we match clothes how do we how do we do it <laughs> so first thing first i'll be talking about the fact that when you are using a brown belt you are expected to be wearing a brown shoe so sisters in the house too if I use a brown belt, you're expected to be wearing a brown shoe and carry a brown bag. Don't carry everything like a gualari. If you're using black, the color, the cocoa of what I'm telling us now is that way the color of your belt should be the color of your shoe and your bag. Do we understand? That might be a reason. Another mistake that we do is the fact that some of us we wear spotted clothes on striped clothes or spotted clothes on spotted clothes i don't understand when you have all these dotted clothes and then you now want to use tie again it's now tie that has stripe or try that a style that has tie that has a dot again that you are using on it you will look like a gualari now you know some of us it's not like we 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 want to be we want to be local but it's just like we don't know how to combine it that's that's like the problem for some of us so you see somebody wearing a striped suit striped shirt and he's still wearing striped tie or dotted tie everything will now look like color riots you not expect that a sister that is decently dressed will say yes to you it is not possible or you're a sister, you're wearing everything, dot, 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 and then this is just dotting itself up and down. You know, expected that a brother that has good dress sense, that wants somebody that is properly dressed, will come up to you and say, it's not possible. So that's another fashion mistake that we do. The, the third fashion mistake that we do. Please, if you are new to this channel, just know that at this kind of person, I used to check my phone so that I will not miss any points. Is that when you are wearing a big shirt, it's advisable that you are wearing something more kind of tight or tiny under. Like, you don't wear something baggy or another baggy thing, except... <laughs> On rare cases because I've come to notice that when you're wearing something big on another big thing it's not the fashion does not synchronize oh that's the English and another thing this one is common to Christian brothers I'm sorry I'm a Christian I just this one is very common to Christian brothers please you're a brother for crying out loud stop wearing color color dresses I mean you will see a brother wearing yellow top on green i mean what do you want to what do you tend to achieve i don't understand and then you are now looking for one sister that is decently dressed that is that that is decently made up to come and be saying yes to you it's not possible you're not be saying christian sisters are something else some of them are just coming to church for fashion i mean how will i follow brother that and the the trousers is summer so, if any of this, if, if you enjoyed any of this or you find out that any of this is actually talking to you, my brother and my sister, please go and do a, a change, a turn around. So, with this, we've come to the end of the first segment and the second segment. Welcome back to the second segment of the program. And with me here is, please introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Faith of EJ Signature and I sell rings. 
<laughs> like she has said, she's paid on Fiji signatures and she sells ring. So we will be we will be asking you some questions that would actually entertain people and people will learn from your experience as a jeweler or what they call it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So the first question, I'm going to be asking her just five questions, and I'm sure she's going to explain in an explicit way. Um, how do you know ring sizes? That's like ninety percent of every guy that wants to put do not know what size they need. So that's like the first top of all we have to go through before we are able to get rings. There's only one specific and basic way to know and most accurate way to know ring sizes and that is by doing a proper measurement. So either you use a maybe a floss or a paper, you wrap it around the finger then mark where it stops and put it on the table or on the ruler to get the exact measurement in centimeter or inches or you wrap a table around the finger firmly so aside that every other one is more like a guess guess work exactly so that's like the most accurate way so there are some other ways i use also so i can tell you to get your girlfriend's friend that can easily help you stylishly ask and find out or if you can't do that, then you can also tell me her shoe size. There's a way I can link her shoe size with her finger size, but it's not always accurate. It is just a guess. But it can give me a key. Then if I can see the body of the person and the finger of the person, I can I can match the shoe size, the finger size, and the body size to guess what appropriate size the person should wear. But um. On a scale of 1 to 10, 4.5 of the time is not right. Okay. Yeah. So, on the average, it's still sort of yeah, right. It's kind of right. Okay. Alright. So, if you want to propose, <laughs> you can hear what she's saying now. Look measure for a way, the, the accurate way you can do it is to measure the finger. So, probably you ask a friend to do it for you, or you stylishly do it by yourself. Does money determine durability of a ring? Hmm. Um, with the culture we are living in, everybody feels the more expensive, the better. I think I have that mentality too. <laughs> actually, it's not bad. And for a honest seller, yes, actually. But it still really doesn't matter again. On the. Uh, I sell selling silver rings and. There are some that can go for as high as 70,000 mm -hmm. and there are some for 15,000. But I can tell you that the 15,000 and the 70 have the same quality and the same material. So, so why, why is it different? Why is 70 higher Most times, the ones that are more expensive are most likely the ones that are like a three in a set, maybe the husband, the two wedding set, and then the band. Okay, yeah. okay. However, the ones that can be 15 kids most likely just. Okay. And then it may not be as stylish as the other one, mm -hmm. meaning the details may not just be so much. It can just be a probably simple ring and all. But it's not every time that prices would always mean when it's low, it's not good, when it's high, it's good. But on the average, more expensive things are most likely better than the ones that are cheaper. But from this example I just gave, it does not always matter because I have some expensive and some cheap and they have the same quality. So it might just be the design. So design is actually what makes it more expensive than mm, Yeah, design the and the fact that maybe the factory wants to sell out fast or the fact that design for a long time and then they just need to let it mm -hmm. go to bring down the prices. So when we buy, we're like, oh great, this one is out. So we can also sell it cheap. So like it's a big lot to sell. Okay. So how do you clean rings? Okay. Number one, the basic way to clean a ring when it's dirty is to use a soft cloth. There's actually a cloth that is meant for cleaning rings. I can show an example. Okay, so this is an anti tarnish polishing kit for rings, but this is for sterling silver. So this would effectively clean the sterling silver ring and make it shine again. So for rings that are already getting dull or 
you're using it shine once you use this on the bench it's going to clean it however for gold for diamond for titanium for steel including clean silver you can also use another method you can use it you can put liquid wash in warm water liquid wash in warm water okay then put the ring in it for a few minutes for rings that already have build up on them like they already have some black things Stone. already yeah so for those ones you can use a toothbrush a soft brush to brush it out after it must have stayed in the water for a few minutes then you brush it out it's going to come out but for things like gold just leave it in water when you bring it out just use a warm um, a soft cloth to clean it and dry it you brought the brilliance back okay so this particular cleaner is for styling this particular one is for styling silver silver oh, okay okay so to the fourth question how do you know a ring will last like how do you know it will last for years and it won't fade okay mostly though that one is going to be based on the material it's made up of so a steel ring a titanium ring naturally we know those materials are durable they should last long however when you want to go to a more classy material like sterling silver gold and like when you hear gold you know it's going to last very long too and then diamonds of course they all last long however the issue is sterling silver most times i think for most people because you cannot differentiate a silver plated ring from sterling silver um, ring most times or if you're already into the business you know, if i see a silver plated ring i know the difference between it and sterling silver only complete but not everybody can mm -hmm. so for knowing the ones that would last number one if it has to be if it's a sterling silver ring you have to use it and use it well and for a while okay <laughs> yes that's like the best way to know for me because the other ways i'm still going to explain they are right but they are not 100 percent because you can see a ring which will fade and will still give you the the kind of results you will get when you try the tests on them so for example to also know a ring that would last if you use this anti tarnish polishing fluid i have given i've showed earlier to rub on the ring you will notice a black stain that will come out of the ring on those things i've had some rings that are not good and then they still brought out that same black stain and they still tarnished so mm -hmm. if that is the only test you're going to use then of course you know that you are very few because the ring was bad it tarnished but it was still able to give me that black stain when a ring oxidizes in air, still original silver oxidizes in air, so that's what brings out that black stain. So some rings are also made up of sterling silver, of silver, but it is now really mixed. Sterling silver is like 92.5% silver and another material, mostly copper. However, some rings now have a little of silver, but more of another material, so they will still bring out some properties that silver will mm -hmm. have here, yeah, so they will deceive you. So using only the cloth test will make it false. However, you think it will last. Then also another way to test it: um, if you get a magnet and you put it on a silver ring, it shouldn't attract. But if you put it on maybe a steel, a titanium, that would attract. So for sterling silver, it shouldn't be attracted to a magnet. Then um, let me see another test. Another test. Um, Okay, another test is still the oxidizing in air. If you, oxidizing in air, if you put a sterling silver ring outside, not in a box, after a while you notice it begins to change its color, it begins to darken. So when it begins to darken, you know that that, silver, that ring has silver in it. So it might be original, but to be kind, the best way to know is to use it well. <laughs> so if you want okay. to know if it will last long, buy the just ring buy it and, and use it for it. six months, use it for twelve months, it's still good, and you know that you're good. But most times, but then you rooms. bought it. <laughs> you bought it. Yeah. You bought it. Okay. And finally, what was the most frequent question that people ask you whenever they want to buy a ring from you? Hmm. What did they say first? What is common? Will it fade? <laughs> Will it fade? See, I can already tell when that question is coming. Once they just say good afternoon, I want to buy rings. After you've shown them what they the first thing they just ask is, will it fade? Or hope it will last. And then, of course, it will last. 
I won't sell what's not last thing. And then if I'm selling something of five thousand, it doesn't even mean it's gonna last. But of course it won't be a sterling so I mean, it's most likely be either steel or something in that category. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we need to eat. That's like the general question everybody will ask for every even if you're buying some people even on this Unknowingly ask when they're asking for gold, you need to pay them like my school. They're asking us, like, oh, sorry, 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 that's you know, so it's just registered. Okay, in most people. okay. I think I, I make the mistake too every time, like, I'm always like, Will this thing last? Will it fit? <laughs> so, thank you so much for your yeah. time. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. So, please, if we want to contact you, like, want to get to him, can you tell us where we can contact you? Probably give us your Instagram address. Or Okay, um, I'm very very present on Instagram, so just check for me at. I think I can attest to the fact that you're very present on Instagram. PJ underscore signature, PJ underscore signature. The PJ is F W E J A Y underscore signature. I'm also very present on GG. How's GG? It's an app. It's an e-commerce app. Also. Okay. Yeah really really nice and really good you get things very affordable even more affordable that you can get them on instagram and for yourself because they really they advocate for people with affordable prices on all products yeah. so mm -hmm. i'm very present there also so you can find me my store name is fiji signature there i'm also on facebook fiji underscore signature twitter fiji underscore signature so that's it thank you very much so if you watch to the very end thank you very much for tuning in and if you are just seeing my face as i said earlier please make sure you are subscribed for more juicy content so yeah. until i see you the next time thank you bye bye